Hey there, this is Mrs. Hartgrace from Arts for the Soul. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a Paul Klee-like castle. All right, let's get started. First of all, you're going to need some different items. Probably a pencil, an eraser, a sharpie or two, a few crayons. And if you'd like to use higher materials and crayons, you can always use watercolors or pastels. This piece of artwork is Sicily at San Andrea by Paul Klee. And do you notice his early work? You can still see there's houses. And that's okay because it also has perspective. The second one is Roadbrug. Do you see there's no perspective? There's no side of the houses. There's no going away from you. On the third is Quadro. He gets even more abstract. But remember, that's okay. Because anything goes in abstracts. Right? This is what I'm doing. So what I did is I just started drawing. And I'm going to make it look sort of like a castle. Now, if you notice, I'm, I'm still working. So maybe I'm going to, oh, roughly draw maybe the maybe the middle of the castle here and I'm going to use a ruler if you don't have a ruler use a ruler if you got one if you don't have one and that's okay too so you can see how I'm just starting to add a few things here and there it's kind of cool huh now I'm getting done and I'm outlining now you don't have to doubt outline if you don't want to I'm right I'm gotta get rid of my, my pencil lines but I want you to notice something does the perspective look wrong? Remember, perspective is how something looks as it goes away from you. We've been studying that, and this is a fifth grade lesson. You've learned it all the way back in fourth grade and in part of fifth. Look at how it's wrong, but that's the one thing about this. It's okay. It kind of reminds me of the Middle Ages when they didn't understand the rules of perspective that I taught you. So take a look at this and then you'll understand and you can compare and contrast. The perspective's off on this and that's okay. It becomes kind of abstract, but this is the Les Très Richeurs de Duc de Berry from the Middle Ages. So now you can see that the artwork's nearly done. I'm still drawing and adding things. Lots of fun with this. Lots of repeated patterns, huh? It's called repetition. Lots of squares, lots of things like that. And I, as I get done, I'm starting to color it. I, you could color the sky. I decided to just color the sky. It really doesn't matter. So here's my finished artwork. Okay, do you see how I did balance? Do you see how I balanced my artwork. I have everything kind of centered, but not completely. Okay. So that's something you might want to work on also. Do you see how simple the shapes are? What can you draw? What can you make? Make your own castle. Now, this is some of the artwork that some students have done over the years. Take a look and tell me what you think. I think that they look pretty good. Be original. These were done in watercolor. They could be also done in crayon. Good luck.